WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. 11 update, and we've got a bifurcated market out there. You've got the Dow trading the upside, 317 points. That's a nine, 10, nearly 1% move to the upside. S&P is flat. It's up about 1.5 points. NASDAQ is not flat. That's where we get that bifurcated market. You've got the Dow, NDX down 100 points, 6 tenths percent. The semis are up 36 points. That's 1% to the downside. The Russell's up 6 tenths, trading out at 1814 but gold off nine bucks silver is up 12 cents and the u.s dollar index is up at least 694 pips out there of course i do have a 10 minute delay on the u.s dollar index you've got late to be crude off a buck you've got natural gas down a penny 30 year treasury off 18 ticks printing out at 116.27 so what's all that mean jelly bean let's go take a look at that nine panel Market update chart, we begin upper left-hand corner, you've got the ES Mini. Now we've got two tops. Yesterday, the ES Mini generated a Rhodes Mintum Indicator top. So you've got resistance at 48.50, that's the TD9 count top, and 45.97. The two tops make a difference? Not really. But if we do get a close below 45.56, that's the center of its bear structured profile. Pretty good indication that we get down to 45.09. We have a rising spot volatility index. We don't have a rising S&P 500, so we don't have a divergence pattern there. But we do have a rising spot volatility index. So we're going to take a look at that today because uh, depending on the close, that could be giving us a change in trend signal for the S&P 500. Inside the NQ, yesterday it also generated a Rhodes Mintum Indicator top. The resistance zone, 16,173.50, the top of its TD9 count uh, pattern, and uh, 16,208.50, which is the uh, Rhodes Mintum Indicator top. Let alone, we didn't even talk about profile resistance at 16,102 uh, for the NQ and 4,572 for the ES Mini. We take a look at U.S. dollar index. It's going to confirm a wave seven bottom. That is a letter G. Now price is trading into its bearish structured daily profile sell zone between 103.42 and 103.76. Gold has a TD9 count top. That's going to complete today. Only a close above 2072 would suggest a further rally, such as to 2152. It's A to B equals CD pattern. A new profile is attempting to form, fairly narrow. Support at 2038, resistance at 2072. Silver is also forming a new profile, resistance at 2568, support down at 2507. Uh, Light speed crude traded between rising trend lines and descending trend lines. If price can close above 78.23, it should go tackle that descending trend line. You've got a TD Nike out bottom of natural gas and a new profile. Watch the support level of 276. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. We'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care now.